everyone. Morning. Welcome to an early start today, uh, but it is a, another travel day, technically. Ooh, travel day. <laughs> it's a travel day from Hong Kong to Singapore. Yep. Um, so it's just coming up to five o'clock in the morning. Very early start. Yep. I've got my coffee with me. Um, we're flying with Cathay Pacific. Uh, the flight's at eight o'clock in the morning and we're taking a taxi to the airport. The taxi costs... Uh, between 320 and 340 Hong Kong dollars, so about 33 to 35 pounds, not too bad. Yeah. Um, it's too early for us to get the Hong Kong Airport Express because yeah. it's not open yet, so that's why we're having it's to get It's not open till six, the Hong Kong yeah. um, uh, the Airport Express. Um, sorry, we're, I, I think we're both still a little bit tired, so yeah. a little bit out of it. Um, so, yeah, so then we land into Singapore at about 11.55. Um, hopefully no delays, fingers crossed. Yep, hopefully it's all scheduled to be on time this morning. Um, so land at 11.55, obviously we've got the regular stuff to do, collect luggage, we've got some tourist SIM cards that we want to get. Um, and then we'll be taking a taxi from the airport to the new hotel, which is the Conrad Centennial in Singapore, which we're very excited to yes. stay in. It's going to be a very nice hotel and experience, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this hotel has been absolutely fantastic. We were going to have done a bit of a longer hotel video, but some of the amenities that are here are actually closed at the moment for refurbishment. So the rooftop swimming pool, we couldn't really show you because we couldn't get to it. And that's the same for the fitness center. Um, we've shown you that would have shown you the lobby breakfast in the room already, yeah. so there was nothing else really to show. So, in case you haven't watched those videos, this is the Hilton Garden Inn in Mong Kok, Hong mm. Kong. So, just in case you didn't know, yeah, really good location, isn't it? Yeah, um, really happy with it. Yeah. Just great, great hotel, really. Definitely would stay here again. I think yeah. if we um, hopefully, well, no, not if when we come back. Yeah, um, it's just might be a while off. Um, but for now, it's travel day. It's travel day. Um, if you've not already, please uh, like the video and subscribe to follow along with the rest of our videos. Um, and anyway, let's let's head to the airport now. So I thought I'd just do a quick tour of the lobby of the Hilton Garden so you could see it. Um, it's really early in the morning, so it's very quiet, which is great. So this is where we came in, and this is where you can get picked up and um, dropped off for cars. Um, over here's all the elevators. You've got lots of seating around here, and obviously the big checking desk, desk which usually has quite a few people in it. Some more seats, a really nice chandelier. Um, so much seating around here, and then usually this piano is playing. Um, which is really nice as well so that's pretty cool so this is just the lobby um, and this is one of the entrances that you can come in and, and use primarily just here um, so yeah this is the lobby area so the taxi's here taxi literally 25 minutes and it was only 260 Hong Kong dollars which is 26 pounds yeah. so cheaper than what the hotel said it was um, um, a lovely taxi as well really, really nice. nice and modern really smooth no traffic on the road um, and he dropped us straight outside where check-in is so we're just about to go drop the bags off now um, I don't know if this is this always the case I think every different check-in areas for a different destination but we're in check-in area C in yeah. terminal one I think they always have A, B slash C for their flight for Cafe Pacific's flights but yeah. today we're at C so we're gonna see about checking in and then look at going through security but it's exciting to go to Singapore so we're through bag drop security passport control all of that you do the, all of that before coming through to the departures lounge um, really simple and quick um, it's taken us about 25 minutes to do everything. Um, really even though there was a queue at, at bag drop, it went really quick because they had about 13 people like uh, doing bags. Um, got our boarding passes. Um, it, the only annoying thing is that uh, we kept getting, uh, well, I got my passport stocked, so I had to use the traditional queue, not the e-gate. So then that was quite a long wait. Um, 
and it, was, it happened to both of us because they check your passports twice before you yeah, come through. Which is very, st I don't remember that. No, I don't either. Um, so what we're going to do now is go get some breakfast because we don't actually have long to the flight. We've only got an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. So uh, let's go get some breakfast. We'll show you what we get. Um, we're probably just going to get Starbucks, McDonald's, something like that. Yeah. Also, there is a Hong Kong Disney store just over here, just there. It's not open, but no. if it was, we would totally have a little look. Too early for it to be open for Disney magic. Um, we're <laughs> going to have a little look round and we'll catch yeah. up with you shortly. We are... Struggling to find some food. Um, everything's closed and there's not much op many options, actually. Yeah. There, there, well, there's, there are options, but nothing that we fancy. Yeah, there is a Starbucks potentially near gate six, um, which is on the way to our... But it's not open yet. But it's not open yet. Um, All the shops are closed. So a lot of the other restaurant things are closed. Yeah. The only really things that are open are even duty free is closed. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it is still early. It's half past six, isn't it? So, yeah. And obviously, if it's not really a popular thing to do to browse through the duty free mile like it is in um, in the UK, then obviously there's no reason for it to be open. Yeah. So, um, we're just gonna hang out for a bit and then hopefully get something quick to eat. We got on the plane. We do get a meal on the plane, don't we? Which will be we breakfast do, but, related. However, but, we might not like it. And also, I don't think it's going to be very big. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just. I mean, obviously, it's, uh, something's better than nothing. But I think it's just a small little box. Probably. So. And I'll do. probably get an omelet, which I won't like and <laughs> I won't eat. So. Exactly. I need to so. try to find something. But coffee and snacks. There is a sign up here for that, actually. Um, so. But still very exciting. Just want to get on a yeah. plane, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. And it's all still scheduled to be on time. So that's that's the main thing. Thought we'd just show you this really cool view near the gate. So we're supposed to be getting on at gate six, I think, if that's correct. Um, and there's all these uh, planes here, which is really cool. It just thought it was a cool view, so we thought we'd just show you guys. We've managed to get something from Starbucks. So we've got a Danish and a yogurt pot, and Ollie got like a sandwich thing. And we're just at the gate now, so gate nine to Singapore. Um, so they're, they're going to start boarding shortly, um, so we're going to eat our bits of breakfast and then get onto the plane to go to Singapore. Can't wait to get there and just explore, so yeah, we're very excited. So we're through passport, um, through checking the tickets and we're about to go on the plane, yay! Um, really efficient that, isn't it? You, it's all like automated, so you just walk up, look at your face, like, yeah, go on, on you get. Yeah, that must be why they've scanned your passport twice or something. Yeah, something like that. Um, so yeah, and to be fair, because they got through a lot of people within like literally five minutes. Yeah. It's just like, go, go, go. And so we're walking to the plane. I think this so is it, it here. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. So. Hopefully it will be a pretty decent flight. I'm sure it will be. It's, uh, I think it's the same plane that we flew out here on. So it's hilarious. Our shorter haul flights so are three hours to so three and a half hours. We get Jet 2, Ryanair, the Boeing 737 with no leg room. This should get the A350, which is exactly the same as the 13 hour flight. <laughs> so it should be pretty good, really. It's only, yeah, it's only three and a half hours, is it roughly? Roughly, yeah. Maximum of three and a half, I think, but we'll see. Oh. Thank you. So we're sat on the plane now. Yeah, it's exactly the same as the flight that we took out here. Um, we won't show you the seat because you can go check that out on our first video. Um, I think boarding is nearly complete. Uh, we've got 15 minutes until we're meant to be taking off, so hopefully that means that we'll have an on-time departure or there thereabouts. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to a nice flight. The leg room's really good, uh, seats are comfy, nice, modern, and clean. Um, and yeah, anything to add, Kieran? No, let's go to Singapore. If you're travelling with hand luggage or large items, make sure they're stored in the overhead compartments for takeoff and landing. So hopefully you can hear um, my breakfast meal has come. So you've got a warm roll, a little bit of fruit, and then 
there's some like wedges, egg and some sort of um, vegetable and a sauce which looks quite nice. So yeah, I'm going to try this and then Ollie will show you his breakfast when his comes as well. Okay so um, my food's just come now and um, it looks really nice. So I've got the egg and sausage which comes with some potato wedges and it looks like some uh, bacon as well. A warm bread roll, a yoghurt. Uh, I got some fruit, but I'm not keen on uh, dragon fruit or melon, and Kieran doesn't like eggs, so I've just given Kieran my fruit. And there's a Nestle strawberry yogurt. Oh, it's got an apple juice and some coffee as well. So it looks really nice, to be fair. Um, weird shaped egg, but hey ho. Um, so, Kieran, how was your food? It's alright. Yeah. Good. He said it was good. So. We'll talk into this and we'll let you know how the rest of the flight is. So I thought I'd give you a bit of an update. We are only just under an hour now away from Singapore. So it's been a really good flight so far. Um, had a little nap. Um, Ollie's managed to sleep maybe like just 20 minutes or so. But that's about it. But it's been really good so far. And not long at all left until we get there, which is amazing. So we can't wait. Rainy and wet Singapore. Yeah, it looks like it's been raining, but it doesn't matter. You can feel the heat still, which is really nice. So we're at Changi Airport. Um, so we're just going to collect the bags, go through security, whatever, passport control. Um, and then we're planning on getting a taxi to the hotel. Oh, apparently it's a six minute walk to arrivals. Oh, well there you go. Up to six minutes as well, so if you're a quick walker, it could be quicker. Um, oh. So yeah, it's exciting to be here somewhere new where we've never been before, can't wait. Nearly there. Nearly there, long walk. So the security looks really Empty. quiet. <laughs> Just down here. We are at the baggage claim, so we're at number one. So they've just they've already started coming off, and we got through security within literally oh, minutes, two seconds. Minutes. And the, the longest thing so far has been the walk from the plane to yeah. here, hasn't it? And it already it looks cool so in here. Nice, isn't it? So spacious. Yeah. And clean. <laughs> um, I'll just flip it around so you can see there's like moving ornaments and everything. It looks like a really nice airport. Obviously, it's especially one of the best in the world, so yeah, it looks really good. Ollie's sorting out the documents to get the SIM card. We've just picked up our prepaid SIM card, so we've just got, come out of the bag check, which is over here. And then if you just go to the left, there is a Changi meet and greet over here. And that basically, you pick up your prepaid SIM card. We did it through Kluke. Um, can't remember how much it was, it wasn't expensive. And you get a load of data, local calls and texts. So, super easy process. I've swapped the SIM card over already and so is Ollie and they're both working fine on 4G already, um, which is great. So we're gonna head out the exit now and then go get a taxi to the hotel. So we'll check in with you once we get in the taxi. So just walking over to our taxi, we've got number two. It's, just, it's clearly signposted when you come out of the arrival section, so really, really easy. This hotel is stunning. We've literally just checked in and we're gonna have to show you around it because it, it we, well, we're gonna have to do a full hotel yeah. tour. We're gonna have to just make time to do that video because it we is. We walked in and then we literally, someone was there to greet us straight away, took us straight taxi, to the counter. Uh, suitcases straight out. Had no time to film anything, so. No. Um, Even this elevator is really nice. 
I know, it's just, I mean, it's all stunning. I've never seen a hotel so grand as a, with an entrance, have you? It's lovely, yeah. Um, so they've upgraded our room from a deluxe king to an executive king. So we're going to the room now. So let's stop the filming now and then we'll do a room tour and we'll try and show you what we can. Room Hi, tour. Uh, room tour. Welcome to the Conrad Centennial Singapore. Um, we are staying in an executive uh, king room and we're just amazed with it and we just thought we'd do the room tour whilst everything's looking stunning and pristine. So we'll head in here first. Um, this is the rather large and luxurious bathroom. So you have a separate bathtub, shower, which has rainfall shower at the top. Um, some nice looking toiletries as well. You've got his and his for us, or his and hers, or hers and hers sinks. Um, you also get uh, quite a lot of complimentary toiletries, so you get some bath salts that you are able to use. You get the Conrad rubber duck. <laughs> um, everything that you could possibly want. I'll see, we'll see if there's anything in any of the drawers. Oh yeah, you've got a hair dryer. Um, again, just more amenities, so shaving kit, shower caps, everything like that. So that's the bathroom. Let's head back this way. Okay, and just over here we've got the almost foyer, don't we, of the room. <laughs> um, so you've got in here loads of storage space, so you get the uh, bathrobes. Um, obviously these aren't free, um, you can purchase them apparently in their gift store if you want uh, to take home a Conrad uh, bathrobe because it has got the branding on it there. Uh, you've got the iron down there, you've also got some slippers and plenty of uh, coats, ha coat hangers. You also have an umbrella that you're able to take out with you uh, in case it's going to rain, which I think it will do a bit whilst we're in Singapore. Um, and then again on the other side, you've just got the safe, an extra pillow, some more storage with drawers. Um, again, you've just got amenities. So this is just another style of a bathrobe. I think it's more like a kimono style, that one. Again, just little things, a shoe shiner. It's just some real little touches which make it feel really luxurious. And then directly opposite is almost your tea, coffee, refreshment making facility. So we've got a Nespresso pod machine. Uh, it came with four complimentary bottles of water, which I really like because it's in these sustainable um, like milk carton style bottles. Um, so I really like that. You've got in here all of the Nespresso pods, uh, glasses, mugs, bottle opener, espresso cups, everything really nice. So anyway, that's enough of the foyer. What we'll do is we'll go into the room. Oh, I've got one more thing to show you here. There is the mini bar as well. I believe that this is all chargeable. Um, but I, I tried to scan, there's a QR code which says scan here for the prices of the uh, mini bar items. It, when I tried to scan it, it said that there was an error, so I'm hoping that means it is free. If it is, we'll let you know and we'll pop a little description in when we find out a little bit more. So we're now in the bedroom area. Wanted to show you this first, that the uh, drapes and the shears are electric. So let's open them whilst we show you around the tour. So you've got a little button here at the side of the bed. So as you can see, and probably can hear they're opening now. They'll probably be open by the time we finish. So you've got a really big flat screen TV. Uh, under there you've got storage, you've got recycling bin and more storage here. This is just all your plug sockets um, and USB sockets as well, just near the TV area and near your little work desk. Um, what we get, I do, I do believe that everyone gets this that stays in a, in, in a deluxe or an executive room. We got some homemade red velvet cookies um, and a couple of complimentary bottles of water. And in here we've got just a little welcome card and just a little plate. You've again got more storage here. Um, storage on either side of the bed as well as a plug socket and a USB socket and light switches as well. On the bed, 
um, you get your complimentary Conrad teddy bear. And I do believe that is in every room. It doesn't matter what room you're staying in, whether it's an executive, a deluxe, a standard. I think everyone gets the Conrad teddy bear. So we'll pop him down there. We also got a couple of little treats because um, it's a really special holiday for us because we've always wanted to come to Singapore and we just asked if there was anything that they could do to make it extra special for us. So we managed to get some complimentary leather luggage tags which say the Conrad Centennial Singapore as well as some chocolates, a king size bed which is super comfy and then behind Kieran here is where I was sat on at the beginning. It's just like a really long sofa area, which again is really nice just for when you're getting ready in the morning or in the evening. And then we'll just show you the view as well. Okay, so that's an executive king room at the Conrad Centennial. We do also have an extra special view. It's not full view, but you can see Marina Bay Sands. So in here you've got a selection of sandwiches and little uh, desserts as well. So there's cucumber and hummus and smoked salmon. And then you've got some scones, chicken and mushroom puffs, chicken cutlets, and then uh, tea and coffee over there. So all checked in at the hotel, um, which is amazing. The room is gorgeous. Really nice, the really views, stunning. Oh my gosh, amazing as well. Um, we can even see the Ver Lion statue or one as well, which is really cool. Um, we also went to the afternoon tea in the executive lounge, which also was really lovely. Uh, that's all free as well with the executive rooms. We are now going to try to figure out how to get one of our subway cards and then probably explore a little bit. So yeah, the hotel is just amazing, isn't it? It's yeah. so lovely. So definitely very excited to be here. Can't wait to explore some more and we'll take you along with us. We've also got a Starbucks literally next to the hotel and they've already got a mug. So, so that's good. Yeah. We don't have to we search have for any mugs. have the escapades that we had finding the Hong Kong one. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go sort out our Metro cards yeah. now. Let's go do that. So we thought we'd give you an update on the EasyLink card. Now the EasyLink is the Singapore's version of the metro station basically, the underground. Um, basically we went to one of the kiosks, we picked up the EasyLink card. This one's cool because it's Harry Potter themed. I mean, I mean, how amazing is that? It costs 10 Singapore dollars, which is five pounds for the card. Five dollars. Sorry, five dollars for the card and then five dollars credit to use on the underground. And then they've got machines um, as well next to various points of the station where you can top up the card with cash um, or card payments. So really, really easy to use. And we've just picked up a little map from one of the kiosks. And it seems like it's pretty straightforward to use, I would say. We'll see. Um, I don't see how it can be that complicated, to be fair, but we could be wrong. However, it seems like it's going to be all right. So we're going to head out, have a bit of an explore Maybe check out the Mer Lion because that's quite a popular attraction here. And then take it a little bit easy probably until this evening when we'll have something to eat as well. So we will show you the Metro Easy Link and then we will also show you the Mer Lion when we get there. We've just made it to the Mer Lion Park and we're currently sat opposite Marina Bay Sands. Um, so do you want to turn the camera around and show them? That's what that looks like. Um, it, it looks really stunning, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really nice it's around amazing. here. Amazing. Um, and the Mer Lion is just to my left, which would be your right, watching this. Um, and that looks pretty cool as well. It's interesting. I'm just trying to read up about it to share a fact with you again. Built in 2002. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Being a Mer Lion, head of a lion, body of a fish. Um, but apparently, it's widely used as the mascot of Singapore. 
so which I didn't know about and it's eight and a half meters tall and there's another one that uh, this this is sort of like a rebuild of it of the original one which from 2002 the original one is now the cub which is only two meters tall so yeah so that's just right next to us and yeah. abba's just come on for some reason so i don't know if you can hear that so we'll uh, stop talking and what we'll do is we'll we'll show you the merlion next. Yeah. So here is the merlion. It's really really big when you're in front of it isn't it? Very tall. Looks really cool though and then obviously you've got the stunning backdrop of Marina Bay Sands and the Art Science Museum as well over there. It's quite busy. Um, there is a platform over here where everyone can take photos as well but it, it looks so cool. Oh it's hot very warm um, and very humid so we decided to take a little walk to a hawker that's called Lao Pao Sat it's one of the one of the most famous ones I guess and um, really popular I think it's and one of the more expensive hawkers as well isn't it where yeah. it's um, probably traditionally like really cheap but this one's a little bit dearer oh Starbucks yeah. this one is in like the um, city right in the city some of the other ones are a little, sometimes a little bit further out but it comes upon every video you would watch on YouTube. It looks really nice. And this is where we're probably going to have tea tonight. We're not going to have tea just yet. But we just want to check it out, see what it's like. Yeah, sort of scan around. Explore. Maybe have a little drink if, if there's some room. Um, so yeah, we're going to take you along. It's, we're nearly there now. Obviously it's quite busy. So we'll meet you at the Hawker Centre. We are in the La Pau Sat Hawk Canal. There is loads and loads of different places that you can eat. It's quite loud, so hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, but I've seen two vegetarian Indy ones already. There's been a vegetarian Chinese one, and there is so many things to choose from. So many different cuisines. Literally have every, something for everybody. Um, so what we're gonna do is decide what we're gonna have and then we'll show you what we get so we've got some food i've ordered this vegetarian set indian meal i was gonna say i was gonna have chinese but then i changed my mind because it looked nice so i've got this humongous naan bread with a couple of different curries rice potato i ordered some samosa separately and then ollie's got some noodles noodles broccoli beans sprouts and chicken if you heard that hopefully it's nice so we finished at lao passat um, and then we've taken the um, subway, the MTR, over to Clark Key. So we had to swap over at Chinatown, go on a couple of different lines. Really simple and straightforward again, to be fair. I think, I think we've gotten the happy, um, hang of it. Um, and Clark Key is this just sort of quayside area on the waterfront where there's loads of bars, loads of different places to have a drink. So we're just going to have a little explore. We might not sit down and have a drink, but just taking it all in. And then behind this is this really um, I think it's a famous building, I'm not too sure what it is though, but it's just the multicoloured windows. So we'll have to have a look at that and maybe insert a bit of text as to what that is. Yeah, we've seen stuff on the internet about it, so it always pops up. Yeah. But how was your meal at the Lao Pao Sat? Did yeah, it was good, it? yeah. Mine was really good, I really enjoyed mine. There was a lot of food and it was obviously really reasonably priced. Yeah. So we would definitely recommend going there. I'm not sure if we'll be going back to that particular one, but we'll be going to lots of different halls yeah. while we're here, aren't we? So. Yeah, it's the main place to get food, isn't it, in Singapore? It's, yeah. I think where most people go, it's really cheap and, and good quality. Um, so we'll show you a bit of Clark Key if we can. We're both just feeling really tired though, because we've been up since four, haven't we? So yeah. we're flagging a bit now. Um, so yeah, but we'll show you around a little bit. Hey everyone. 
So we're back at the hotel room now. We're both absolutely exhausted. It's only coming up to half past eight and we're so tired. Um, but we've been up since four o'clock this morning. So I think I think that's allowed. Yeah. Um, had a really good first day just exploring. So we went to the Merlion, uh, Merlion Park. We went to uh, Clark Key, which is uh, the last bit of footage that you will have seen. And where else did we go? Um... What was it called? Uh, Lao Pao sat the hawker place. Oh, Lao Pao sat the, the hawker place, yeah. Um, to have some food. So we, we've gone and explored a good few places and obviously had a good explore of the hotel as well. We'll probably do some more footage of the hotel throughout the vlog series. Yeah, because it's very, very nice. Yeah. Um, so I think we're both a little bit overwhelmed at the moment, but we can't wait to have a good night's sleep and be able to be fully raring to go tomorrow. I yeah. think that's that's probably where we're at at the moment. Yeah, I think it's just the last few days have caught up to us now. Yeah. And you're going to go have a nice bath. Yep. I'm going to With just the free bath salts. Yeah, lie down. <laughs> um, yeah. And just relax. So we'll just take it easy this evening and then we've got lots and lots of things planned coming up while we are in Singapore. So we've got lots of the main attractions that you all, anyone mm. would know about for Singapore. We've got Universal Studios coming up. We've got other things on Sentosa Island so there's lots of exciting things that we're going to get up to yeah um, yeah so really, definitely really stay tuned for it. that because it's going to be an amazing loads of activities week. yeah loads of activities and there might even be some stuff that we still book as well we don't know um and a little shout out to Mark from the executive lounge he's signed his name oh. he's coming to the when we were in the executive lounge earlier he was just chatting to us and said oh is it your first time in Singapore we said yes and he said oh I'll, I'll write down some ideas of stuff that you could do um, and whilst we've been out, he's actually come and posted it as a little card in the room, and then he's laid out the sli yeah. uh, some bath slippers and a little uh, mat as well, either side as well as putting a bottle of water and a glass either side of our bed. So let's let uh, me show you. <laughs> so we have been truly spoiled. Yes, and hopefully that continues. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so massive shout out. I mean, the hotel is impressing. Couldn't be impressing anymore, to be fair. Yeah. At that Ever moment. since we've arrived, everyone's been yeah. so nice. Oh, they're just uh, amazing. I mean, they were even like joking with us, uh, talking about the executive lounge because uh, the cocktail hour that's included is only six o'clock to eight o'clock, and he was like, "Oh, I'll slip you a key so you can come in the back door so that you can have it a little bit more later." Yeah, it's just, all, all just like it's not yeah. snooty at all, is it or anything? No, it's lovely, and um, everyone's just really friendly, and it's been a lovely welcome so far. So. Yeah. We're very excited to be staying here, very excited to be in Singapore and definitely can't wait to explore some more. So Absolutely. Um, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more and make sure you comment down below. Let us know if you've been to Singapore and what's your favourite thing to get up to. And we hope that you follow along with the rest of the videos that we're going to make yeah. and that you enjoy them. Yeah. So thank you for watching. See Bye. you soon. Bye.